Thank you for joining the demo. My name is Manisha Six and I'm sales executive at Ambedic Solution. Today I'm going to present you the smart classroom. What is smart classroom? Why do we need to use it? As you know, smart classrooms are the proven solution for improved teaching, to keep students engaged and to provide better access to the technology. Smart classrooms are suitable for in-person learning, remote learning, remote teaching and hybrid learning. So how do we convert a traditional classroom into a smart classroom? For that, we offer different ranges of interactive flat panel for you. We have 65 inches, 75 inches and 86 inches respectively. As you can see, this is 75 inches flat panel which consists of 4K display and 20 point capacitive touch. It also consists of 4 GB RAM and 32 GB internal storage. To begin with, interactive flat panel consists of a lot of tools. So let me open whiteboard for you. As you can see, this is the ultimate replacement to the traditional board. To begin with, you can use this whiteboard either with your fingertips or you can switch to touch pen. One can configure different color for this touch pen as per the requirement. For that, just click on the stylus option or icon and select any color of your desire and proceed writing. There you go. And if you want to erase this content, you can simply use your fingertips directly or you can switch to eraser tool and customize the size of the eraser as per your requirement and proceed erasing the content. There you go. And if you want to clear the entire content in one book, just click on the clean all button. Then comes mathematical tool. Mathematical tool consists of a ruler which extends up to 32 centimeters, then comes set squares and a protractor. You can use these tools for creative learning in your mathematical session and n number of sessions. And to clean this model, just click on the close button and you're good to go. Then comes shapes. Shape consists of both 2D and 3D model. For example, there's a mensuration session going on and explaining about a basic model that is circle. To have a better example for this model, you can simply switch to the 3D version of it in a different color. There you go. You can use any kind of 2D and 3D model of your choice with n number of customized colors. Then comes tables. While inserting table, one can customize the number of rows and columns as per the convenience and just click on the insert button. Table is basically used for scheduling, for statistical purpose and for simplification of data and a number of interesting purposes. Then comes another creative tool for learning that is mind maps. Mind maps are basically used for infographical data, uh, representation of the data, for classification of data and many other purposes. For example, let me just classify you about subjects. While writing, you can see I am already getting access to the auto-predictive text. I like just select the appropriate text and start classifying the subjects in the like this, I can proceed classifying all the subjects. You can even increase the number of tables and you can even, you know, increase, uh, increase the tables of what has been classified. There you go. Then comes another interesting tool that is called sticky notes. While teaching or while giving presentation, it's very important to highlight your agenda. For that, we have sticky notes. For example, this is a demo session, so I will just type intro, introduction and just click on OK. And if there's anything important during the session for you to mention, you can just type on it and click on OK. It will highlight throughout the session. Then comes preview. For example, if the entire board is covered and you want to preview about it, you can just see it in a smaller screen like this. 
Another important feature that is the plus point of using interactive flat panel is the add feature. For example, your entire board is covered. You need not have to erase or clean your content. Rather, you can just click on the add button and it will directly take you to another page. And if you have used multiple pages like this, just click on the page number. You will get the preview of the pages and just click on the page. You want to get back. There you go. And then comes another interesting feature that is share option. For example, there's an important session going on or a presentation going on and you don't want any student to miss out on the content. That is your notes that you have made. Just click on the share button. Your content will prepare to export and a QR code like this will appear. You can tell students to scan this QR and once they have successfully scanned, they will get access to all the notes that you have prepared. And just in case if the institution prohibits the usage of electronic stuff, you can personally take a snap of it and send it to the parental group. And uh, another important thing that I, I want to mention is after sharing the QR, if you're adding the content that won't appear. Similarly, if you want to uh, Export the live session. If you don't want your important session, that is a live session to be missed out by any student, just click on the sidebar, go to more tools and select the record option. And click on the record and start recording your session. And once you have successfully recorded your entire session, you can just click on the close button and you can export your content. And for example, there's a, a menstruation or a science session going on. And you're explaining about human brain. And a student needs a visual representation, a visual example, a detailed explanation for this. You can split the screen and start browsing your content. For that, just click on the sidebar, go to more tools and click on split screen. Your screen, you can see your screen is getting split and just click on the browser and start browsing your content. Let me type anatomy of brain. Select the appropriate picture of your choice. There you go. You, and you can start explaining in detail about your content. Then comes another important feature. While explaining, there is high chances of your board getting messed up or there's a, a, a high chances of your content getting misplaced unintentionally. To avoid that, you can just click on the sidebar again, go to more tools and select touch overlay. An icon like this will appear. Just click on the icon and the entire board will get freezed and you're good to go. And by re-clicking on it, you'll get back to your normal mode. Then comes another important feature that is templates and background. To change the themes, you can just go click on the menu, select theme, and you can have n number of templates for your session. For example, there's a writing session going on, you can go for this or this, or Suppose there's a mathematical session going on, you can go for this. A graphical session going on, you can go for this. And for the extracurricular activities like music, you can go for this. And for the sports, we have that also. And for the background, also you can switch to any uh, background of your choice. There you go. Another interesting and important feature we have in the interactive flat panel is the screen share app. For example, uh, you have your entire content in mobile or laptop. You can share the screen of that particular device with the help of Exceed Share app. You can just click on the screen share icon and if you have your content in the mobile, you can just scan the QR. And for the laptop, you can uh, go ahead typing the code. And just for your information, 
while using your particular device and interactive flat panel, you need to have same network. And you can even have access to the hotspot also. Thank you.